Okay, today we're setting up a new project for each module of a PLC on our trainer. And first of all, we're just going into Artist Logix 5000. And then he's going to click on File and hit New. And a uh, new controller pops up. And what we do is select the type. And that is on there already. And the uh, revision, which is 16, on here. And set up a, a name for it. And that we have Future Tech. That's what you want to call it. And we go to the chassis type, which is already um, set up on here. Seven slot uh, chassis, and this is slot zero. And then we go press OK. And go to IO configuration, new module, and we go to digital. Scroll down to the module number, which would be no, sorry. No, please. okay, which would be the 1756-IB16A. And it's major firmware version is 3 and that would be our input our DC input And then go down to revision of the V point three and then um, it is in slot number one. Press OK. Did you want to get and you up there? Gate out for each of the following modules will follow the same procedure. We'll write Right click on IO configuration and we'll add our modules. After we had um, put all the cards on there, um, we go to file and then we collect or select uh, save as and then we go to um, start four for our trainer and then we save and then now that we have all that saved. We go to RS Links, go to Communications, and Configure Drivers, and we want to make sure we've, uh, uh, we've hooked after, up our serial after, cable. After we had hooked up the serial cable between the PC and the PLC, we want to make sure they're all configured, so we go to Configure, and then it Auto Configure, and once that's done, we press OK. Selected our um, PLC key to program. We're going to RS Logix 5000 and then we select communications. We go to Who Active and we select our DF file and then we go to download. Downloading right now. It, uh, wait for the download. Then we, then we um, go down to the Ethernet card and then we right click on that and we scroll down to properties. Click on that. Bring up port configuration 
and then we now we'll be <coughs> changing the um, IP address of it to 192.168.1-201 and then we'll change also the subnet mask and that's 255.255.255.0 which are the original formats of these addresses and then we press so set press set, then we press OK. Okay, once we um, um, set up the IP address and change the subnet on it to the original format, we uh, power down the PLC and remove the serial cable and connect the ether cable. Um, and then, then after that's powered down, then it power PLC back up again. And then we go to RS Links, Communications, then to Configure Drivers, select the Ethernet file, Configure, and then we select a PC IP address, and then that's set up, and we're OK. Then we close that window, and then we go to RS Who. We got everything yeah, set everything. up. Everything set up to where we want it. All the modules are set up where we want it on the backplane.